Hey guys, it's Everything for iPod here. I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made the background for our layout, um, and how you can make a really cool layout for your channel, whether you're partner or not. I happen to be partner, so I have the banner space at the top, but you don't need to be partner to do it this way. There are quite a few applications I use to make my layouts. Um, I'll tell you what they all are, and I got all of them for free. Um, they are not all free, but there's multiple ways to download all of these applications for free. Um, I use Adobe Photoshop CS5. I also use an application called Art Text 2. I use an application called Digital Color Meter which comes on your Mac, you can find it in the Utilities folder. And I use an application called Little Snapper. Um, all of those will be in the description, so you can look at them and see where to get them. Okay, so what I do first is always go into Little Snapper, which is a web capture software, and it'll capture the whole page for you. So what I do is I open up Little Snapper and before I actually take the picture, what I recommend doing is, well actually what you have to do, is go into your channel. Alright, hey YouTube, it's everything for iPod. And you're actually going to go into themes and colors. Show advanced options on the theme that you have selected right now. And you are going to turn the wrapper transparency for general down to none. Um, if you want to do it for both, you can. So, like you have both of these. Actually, that's probably what you should do. But anyway, so um, do both of them to none. And save your changes. This is only temporary. So save your changes. Now you're going to go into Little Snapper and you're going to go to your web page and just refresh it so you get the uh, most current um, version of your web page. All right. Now you are going to take a screenshot of your web page. Just make sure you have the entire thing selected. And it'll take a picture. All right, hey YouTube, it's Everything for iPod here. I'm Alex, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play games in Terminal that one second. on a Mac. Terminal is an application that lets you run codes on your computer. Okay, so you're gonna take this screenshot you just took. Here it is. And just drag it to your desktop. Okay, you can quit out of Little Snapper now. You don't need that anymore. And now what I always do is just make sure it came out right. There it is. And if you have this bar at the top, right here, the YouTube bar, what you're going to do is op just open it in preview and select the whole thing. And I just drag it down and hit Command K to crop it and Command S to save it. Okay, so now we have it without that bar. We should have it without the bar. There we go. It doesn't have the bar now at the top. Um, so now that's our full web page. Now what I do is open up Photoshop. And sorry if this video is long. Let me check. It might be a two or three part video, I don't know. Um, you'll see. But there are lots of steps in making a really great YouTube background. Once you have Photoshop loaded up and everything, just open your um, snapshot in Photoshop. And you're going to want to go to your uh, magic wand tool, zoom into your photo, right 
here where the two things are, you're going to select the uh, edge and shift S to select the other edge. I usually set the tolerance to about six up here. I think six is a good number. It gets everything in there. Um, now you can zoom out once you have all of it selected and hit shift command I to reverse your selection. And now take the eraser tool and just make it as big as you can. I already went and did that. And you're just going to go ahead and erase the whole entire thing. Once you have that erased, you're going to just um, save this on your desktop. I like to call it layout because that's pretty much what this is. It's a layout. Um, save it as a PNG. Just leave these settings normally. Okay, now you can quit out of Photoshop. You don't need to save the Photoshop file. You can if you want. I'm actually going to make a new folder on my desktop called YouTube Layout Tutorial. Just so I can keep everything in the same place. So I'm going to take the two files I have so far in the YouTube Layout Tutorial folder. And now what I have is a layout, you can't really see it that well, um, there it is, of what a YouTube page looks like. Um, and this is where I'm talking about, up here you see there is space for a banner, but when that's because when I took my screenshot it was up there. But if you don't have that, you're not going to have that space, this will be moved up. So I have that, and I also have the screenshot that I took. Alright, so now what you do is... Um, you're done with Photoshop, you're done with Little Snapper. So now the two applications I use from here on out is Art Text 2, which is a great application, kind of like Photoshop, but you get like cool effects and stuff like that, and it's really user interface. I, re I really recommend getting it. I think it's about $40, but there are ways to download it for free. And Digital Color Meter, which basically you know when you go into YouTube, it asks you for all the colors and everything. Um, that you want to enter and this will actually let you like scroll over something and it'll tell you if you set it to RGB as hex value 8 bit it'll tell you the code of the color you're looking at so right here if I open this up you can see that the top of my page is 505150 that's the color code I would enter number 505150 and for example, um, if we zoom in here, uh, my text right now is set to about 81AB53. So you can check that out. That, that's really useful, but we'll get into that later. So what I do is open up the Art Text 2 application, and I click New Blank. And I set the size to make sure it's on pixels. Usually about, I start out with 2,500 by 2,500 pixels. I always end up sizing it down, but I think that's a good starting number. Now you're just going to take that layout you created and drag it in. And art text is um, in there. You can delete that layer now. And just make sure it's centered and drag it up until the edges line up. And now this is a layout. Now I can go in and add a bunch of color boxes. You can see here, I can add some color and resize it and make it um, whatever I want, like make the boxes and everything. And then I can make a banner up here with some text and put some text on the side and make it glow with effects. And you, It's really cool to just figure that out. That's how you do it, guys. That's how to make a layout. Um, if you have any questions about this, it is kind of complicated. Please feel free to contact me, but that is a great way to make layouts. Um, basically, once you have all of your boxes in and text and everything that you want in here, you just delete this first layer that you have as a layout. You can just delete it, and then you're just going to export it as a file and upload it as your background image. That's how to do it. If you have any questions, again, com um, just like send me a message is the best way to do it. Um, check out our other videos, subscribe, see you later guys.